today we're going to take a close look, uh, do an inspection on, show you lights working, startup, and a test drive on this beautiful 1964 Mercury Park Lane Marauder. This particular Marauder comes to us. It's a one owner vehicle, uh, highly original, original drivetrain, original interior, has been repainted in the original color but it still retains its original chrome and stainless. We're just gonna do a quick walk around real quick. And we'll go for a test drive, but you'll see the car is extremely straight, very clean. The paint is in excellent condition. The paint is actually only about a year old. Uh, all the chrome and stainless is just a striking car. And we did have an opportunity to speak to the original owner briefly, and he said he just wanted a go-fast car, so we ordered it for his, well, his family sedan as well. But, um, he ordered it with the Super Marauder 390, which we'll talk a little bit more with the four-speed manual transmission. But you see this, just, just a striking example of a Mercury Park Lane Marauder. It's, it's above driver quality, but, you know, not a mint show car, but a very, very nice example with lots of curb appeal, and it's a true Marauder. So, yeah, so now we'll grab the other camera. We'll go for a test drive in this awesome Mercury. So now we're going to take a test drive in that beautiful 1964 Mercury Park Lane Marauder. <clears throat> Absolutely. So this Super Marauder 390 just fires right up. Oh yeah, every time, just bump key. You know, the car has 140,000 miles on it, and we don't have any documentation that the motor's ever been out. But I mean, the clutch, the transmission. Motor, everything is so tight. Yeah. You know, it's hard to imagine that this car is original, you know, that it hasn't been rebuilt because it just falls. It's like it should have been. Now, I would like to note, though, that when we got the car, it did have some pretty good oil leaks that we didn't take care of. Yeah. Um, and one was the intake was leaking oil actually into the exhaust, so we had some smoke. There's just a little bit of smoke still. Under a really heavy load. Yeah, and I think it's, it gets better every mile we drive the car. So hopefully it's just, you know, it should just be residual oil. Yeah. Uh, the inside of the engine was extremely clean when they had to take off. Yep. So, yeah. It's yes. Just... But, yeah, the, the 390 just pulls the car along. You know, 65. I mean, effortlessly. 70, 70 miles per hour. code numbers match your car and these Z codes made like 300 horsepower and over 400 foot pounds of torque so it's easy to see why this big block pulls this car the way it does and that back in the four speed I mean it's just an awesome combination you have the fast back the bench seat which is kind of a rare combination as well in this car it's highly optioned with the power steering power brakes the AC which is dealer installed and it's yeah. got a lot of awesome dealer goodies. You got the dealer AC. And it which blows is, cold. Yeah. Very cold. Rotunda tack, rotunda compass, rotunda trunk release, remote trunk release. Rotunda uh, tissue Yeah, box. tissue box. Yeah, that trunk release, though, that's cool. It is. That's something you don't see very often. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, it's integrated into the car like it came from the factory. Pretty rare car. I mean, you don't see these Marauders very often, uh, no, especially in this body style. And this is this is a true one-owner car. Um, Out of Goshen, Indiana, uh, Middlebury, Middlebury, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Northern Indiana, which you know it 
and it's a very original car. Original interior that's in excellent condition for the age. There's yeah, very little wear on the interior of this of this car. You have a few buttons missing in the back seat, and I think one button cap missing on the front seat, and that is the well. And you got the the cover on this dome light is kind of melted. Yeah. But, but I mean, as far as the seats go, those caps as the only wear on the caps. test drive and now we're going to do the inspection on this awesome Mercury Park Lane Marauder. As we spoke earlier, the car has had one repaint about a year ago. The original color, the paint's in excellent condition. There is little to no orange peel in this finish. Um, and we'll go around and we'll show you any flaws that we see in the stainless and the paint. So the stainless is in all the stainless and chrome is in good to excellent condition. Uh, these pieces up here are appear to be original and in very good condition. Marauder emblems. There might be some very minor black paint loss in the some of the emblems. And you'll see that the Magnum 500 wheels, which wouldn't have been 
original to this car, but are in very good condition. And they're wrapped in brand new BF Goodrich uh, radial TAs, all four corners. So they come around the front. The front bumper's in excellent condition. Uh, there is some minor age and wear. That is probably not going to, oh, you just barely see it. Very minor. The grill's in excellent condition with no dents, but there is some paint loss where the black was painted on it originally. All four headlight baskets are in very good condition. Uh, across the hood, in the front of the hood, usually where you see paint chips. There might be some very, very minor ones, but I'm not seeing anything major to the original Mercury emblem. It's in very good condition. Come around to the passenger side. There is a couple light scratches in the bumper there right here on the fender so it looks like maybe something came up on the road again the wheel brand new tire wheels in very good condition the stainless this piece of stainless just like the driver's side is dent free which you know is pretty important um, i'm not seeing any chips or anything to speak of there the windshield and surround stainless is in very good condition. This half of the windshield's free of chips. Across the roof of the car is in excellent condition. Free of dents and chips. Your side glass is in excellent condition. Free of scratches and chips. And the stainless is in very good condition way above average that we normally see especially in these vent window trim there's a little bit of aging on the mirror the top stainless is in very good condition there is one very minor ding right here the lower trim is in very good condition we open up the door into this original unrestored interior that's in very good condition. Tyler's showing you the door, how clean it is. The bottom of the door, excellent condition. No bubbling, no bondo. These door panels are in excellent condition. Uh, the carpet does show some very minor wear. Yeah, just very minor. But overall, the interiors, for being original, is in excellent condition. Your dash pads in excellent condition, free of any cracks. You got your Ford Rotunda attack and compass. Your underdash dealer AC unit. All, and all your stainless work on the dash is in excellent condition. Your seats are in excellent. Yes. Rotunda yeah. tissue holder. Yeah. And there are, are a few buttons, like three or four, I think, missing. These are the capsule hole buttons. But overall, the vinyl on the seats is in excellent condition. And very much free of wear. Well, well above average for being original. In the back, there's, again, there's a hole button missing there. And one, I think there's three on the bottom of the back of the seat. It's excellent with nothing missing in your deck panels, but the rear speaker is in excellent condition. As well as your headliner. See the dome lights working right now. And the doors close very well. Come into this quarter. That's dirt. All the trim is in very good condition, straight. The paint, excellent condition. Very solid car. Sounds right. Your rear glass is in excellent condition. The, the stainless surrounds in excellent condition. Across the, the trunk lid, excellent condition. There's a very minor 
paint flaw there. Almost like a little bit of dirt in the clear coat. Coming across the back, the rear bumpers in very good condition. Shines very nicely. Not noticing any dents or twisting. Um, the rear tail lights, they do have a little bit of minor pitting in the chrome. And each one of the tail light lenses have got some chipping, which they can be replaced. They're easily found. But, and then the, the trunk, which Tyler gets around to the driver's side, will notice it actually has a remote lever to open up the trunk, which is really cool and very rare to find. But you'll see inside the trunk, the trunk lid, excellent condition. The factory edges are clean and sharp. Inside the trunk, it's in very good condition. This is glued down, so you can't pull it out. It does have the spare with the jack. Still retains what appears to be the factory paint underneath the, the deck lid and both the factory labels still in the original spot placed from the factory so and as you notice also that when they repainted the car they didn't put a trunk seal in it so something you might want to consider doing but not necessary coming around the driver's side the park lane emblem has a little bit of a little bit of age to it. It's a very minor paint loss on the black portion. But the trim on this car is so straight. Absolutely. I mean, it. this quarter panel, this trim is very straight. This chrome here, this piece here has a little bit of aging to it. There's some light scratches. The rear glass on this side is free of defects. Of course, that side of the roof's in excellent condition, just like the passenger side. And you'll see in these wheel wells that they do have the clips to accept the factory um, side skirts. fender skirts. And we do have those, and they're in excellent condition. Both these pieces of glass, very good condition. The stainless surround, again, very good condition. Uh, the, the factory spotlight with the mirror built in, it's got some pitting to it. in the chrome right there. there. Yeah. We open up this door. You'll see again the factory door tag is still on the door. But your door panel is in excellent condition again. Bottom of the door. that remote trunk release it still functions yep again driver side rear seat pointed out the missing button earlier but in excellent condition the interior panels in excellent condition your interior lights all work like they should driver seats in excellent condition plenty of padding Nowhere on the bolsters. I don't like this headlight. Oh, there is a crack right in the middle of the dome light. Gauges are in excellent condition. Yeah. Just beautiful interior with the anniversary steering wheel. this car up and show you some lights work.
great muscle car, low ownership, and one that you don't see very often, you want to check out this Mercury Park Lane Marauder, Rock Solid Motorsports.